Hey guys, this test is going to be really similar to my 12 gauge rifled slugs plywood penetration test video. The main difference is this time we're going to be using printer paper. I think the paper should give us a more accurate test because with the plywood we could have hit a knot or something which could have thrown the results off slightly. And once again we'll be using my Mossberg 535 with a 28 inch smooth bore barrel. And just like with our plywood test, we're gonna be using the Remington three inch Magnum, one ounce slugger, the Winchester three inch Magnum, one ounce slug, and the Federal three inch, one and a quarter ounce Magnum slug, and the two and three quarter inch Federal True Ball Deep Penetrator. And if our paper isn't completely destroyed and there's still room to squeeze one more in, I'm going to try this Rio Royal MG slug. This is also advertised as an armored slug or deep penetrating slug. And it has some type of a metal screw in the center there. I have tested these in the past several years ago. So which one of these slugs do you guys think is going to penetrate the most? I'm not sure, so let's go ahead and find out. Alright, and we're going to be shooting from only about 7 yards away. First step, the Remington 3 inch slugger. Whoops, I missed and hit the top of the paper. So we gotta try the Remington Slugger again. Next up, the Winchester three inch slug. And now the Federal three inch, one and a quarter ounce slug. Definitely seemed like that one hit the hardest. And now the True Ball Deep Penetrator. <laughs> wow, it smells like burning paper over here. Look at these blocks of paper. Just mangled, the whole cover came off. I'm sorry guys, I really wanted to include that Royal MG slug, but based on the looks of our paper, I don't think it'll be a very accurate test to throw another slug in there. So we're just going to leave it at that. I'll do the Royal MG in another video. But now let's take a look at our results and see where these slugs stopped. Here was the Remington slugger entry, the Winchester entry, the Federal 3 inch 1 and a quarter ounce, and the True Ball Deep Penetrator. Let's go ahead and take this outer layer off to get a better look at the entries. Looks like we had a wadding entry with both federal shells, but not the other two. And on the back, all of them exited. And our federal three inch magnum slug wad is stuck right here in the first stack of paper. To me, it looks like this Winchester three inch slug has the biggest exit. And then the Federal 3 inch, probably the second biggest. Look at the size of all the splits on its Winchester exit. That's probably more than 3 inches in diameter. That's pretty crazy. So they all went through our first 500 sheets, because each one of these stacks is 500. And here's stack number 2. And there's our Winchester 3 inch wad. It's a little bit more mangled and damaged than that Federal wad. And it looks like right here on our Remington Slugger entry, there's a chunk of lead. Definitely not the whole slug, but a pretty decent sized chunk of lead. Our second entry from the Winchester looks a lot bigger than all the other ones. But nothing came out of our second stack of paper. That's honestly surprising. So it only took two stacks of 500 sheets of paper to stop all four of those slugs. And my first shot missed, we saw, which scraped off the top and hit our concrete block right here, the Remington Slugger. But let's see where all these slugs stop. Let's take our cover off again. There's Remington, Winchester, Federal 3 inch, and True Ball Deep Penetrator. Here's our True Ball Deep Penetrator wad, and the little ball thing that's stuck to the back of the slug. It looks like the ball is broken in half. Still no sign of our slugs yet. Actually, there's the true ball. 
So the first one I see is the true ball deep penetrator. And there's the other half of the ball, so it definitely did break. And here's our true ball slug. You can see the copper coating in the base of the slug right there. And there's just paper stuck to it. So our true ball was the first one recovered. My main camera died. This one might not be as high quality, so sorry about that. But we're a little bit more than halfway through our second stack of paper. And it looks like our federal one and a quarter ounce slug is right here. Oh wow, look at that. What the? Look at what happened to that federal slug. That's amazing. Paper all stuck in it. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Wow. Federal one and a quarter ounce slug after going through printer paper. Oh, and actually, I missed something. Before we recovered that federal slug, there was our Remington Slugger stuck in here too. And there's the rest of the Remington Slugger. We already recovered the other half of it earlier. So the Remington Slugger just broke into pieces. But we still haven't found the Winchester. And there it is. There's our Winchester Slug. And it's hard to get out, wow. So this slug was actually found the deepest in the paper. And it's even got the cardboard gas seal, or nitro card, whatever you want to call it, embedded in the back of the slug there. So it traveled through all that paper with the slug. That's pretty awesome. Now let's go through the rest of the paper and see which one damaged the furthest in. Wow, it looks like our Federal one and a quarter ounce and our Remington slug are both stopped. There's a tiny bit of damage from the Federal. And our Winchester and Trueball are still doing damage. Quite a bit further than the other slugs. And right about here the Trueball stopped, but the Winchester continued. And still a giant split from the Winchester. Wow, that's impressive. So we already know our Winchester was the winner, but let's go ahead and look through and see where it stopped. A slightly smaller split now. And it looks like right here is where it stopped. Just a tiny little crack on the paper. Yep, nothing on the back. But that's almost at the very back of it. There's just a few sheets left. So in this test, our Winchester was the winner. So our Remington Slugger was caught on page 782. And our Federal 3-inch Magnum Slug stopped on page 818. And then the True Ball Deep Penetrator stopped on page 912. While the Winchester made it all the way to page 987, making it the winner in our printer paper penetration test. So that's kind of strange. We had nearly the exact opposite result with our plywood test. But that just goes to show you, whichever round performs better in one test doesn't mean it's going to in another one. So we still can't really say this one penetrates more than this one. It just depends on what medium or material you're shooting. But anyways, that's all for the 12 gauge rifled slug paper penetration test. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you can. And also, make sure to check out my Facebook page. I post short shooting clips to my Facebook that you guys might enjoy, so make sure to check that out. Let me know what you think about that. But anyways, that's all for now. And as always, thanks for watching.